today we're in the man cave and um, we're going to resurrect this Z1300 Kawasaki one of the classic uh, super bikes 1300cc and uh, yeah six cylinders so it's one of the old uh, the old muscle bikes and um, the engine's coming out frame painting and uh, do all the uh, wheel bearings brake rubbers and whatever else needs to be done to uh, to bring it back to its former glory as you can see it's uh, it's had a bit of a hard life but we'll see how we go and uh, we'll keep this updated as we go uh, go along with the job uh, still got the stock exhaust on it humongous clutch on these things probably because they put out uh, quite a bit of horsepower and uh, yeah, I've got a few uh, cleanups to do along the frame. Got a little bit of rust, surface rust there. Nothing to get excited about. And uh, there she is. She's only got 49,000 kilometres on the on the dial, so that's pretty good. Yeah, so there's a lot of little things. Wiring's got to be tidied up, and uh, you've got stuff like this. Um, space is missing in between the. Uh, Space is missing in between the guards and the supports on the rear of the frame. And uh, the owner, Jeff Lahn, he's got the seat being organised at the moment. Johnny Walton's uh, refiberglassed all the base of that. Had a bit of corrosion in it, so that's all been repaired. And uh, the first job, the, uh, the engine's got to come out. And uh, we're going to send that away and get it soda blasted. So today we just had a bit of a play around. Uh, well, that's not good. It's starting to rain, damn it. Yeah, so anyway, we'll uh, we'll keep plodding along. So far, we've removed the uh, rear blinkers, indicators, and uh, we've taken the back half guard off, which is, uh, we'll have to get Johnny to uh, do some fiberglass on that because it's all cracked and uh, been mistreated. So, uh, yeah, we've got the uh, forward half of the guard off. And uh, this is the next item to come out would be the air box. And uh, we've got a little bit of corrosion down in there. You can probably see that, that all that white stuff there. So I don't know how we're going to get that screw out. But we'll give it a give it a bit of a go. There's been a few screws uh, missing around the place, and uh, we've also got to remove this uh, mounting here uh, it did have a sidecar on it at one stage so we've got that one there and this other big mounting there and uh, if we come, come down past the motor it might be a bit dark in here and uh, there's another mount there so we've got to we'll cut those back as close to the uh, the chassis as we can and um, yeah we just got to try and make that look nice god knows why people do do stuff like that, well stuff on. Anyway, job's done there. Uh, now you can't do much about it. So yeah. So we'll drop all the oil out of the motor next, and uh, yeah, see how we go. That's it for now. Well, we've just lifted the battery tray up a little, and uh, got some pretty serious corrosion on that support bracket there. So we'll have to give that a clean off and um, we'll see what sort of condition that's in. Alright, so we've just yeah, got a bit of dirt and stuff around the inside of these, but that's all we've got to do is just push them back on. And uh, those grooves there, they fit into the airbox. I think the battery's going flat on this thing, so yeah, anyway, that's the. Uh, oops, get on there. A bit hard doing that one end. Okay, so we've got all the rubbers back on, so they're down nice and tight. So what we do with these is we'll turn it over. Not worried about a bit of petrol coming out of there because we've got to put new kits in. So we just cover that over. That goes back over the top. Keep all the nasties out of it until we're ready to uh, operate on it. Yeah, so that's the carbies out.
Yeah, it is. So what do you what do you think? You want to try and start it? Yeah, give it a go. Crack her up. Listen on. Choke. Yeah, try here. Yeah. Suck, suck a bit in. Get the throttle, mate. It's all dressed up again, mate. Yeah, it is. Yeah, a bit of choke to start, or uh... yeah, try it without the choke. See, uh, just see how she goes. Because we've, we've uh, set that idle up properly now, so.